Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we are here to preview Katya's skill and weapon. So, we do have a couple of hours before the update drops. So, this one is going to be an earlier update, so please do watch out for that. It's going to be ending, I think, at 10 a.m. UTC plus 8, so be sure to catch the update tomorrow. So, we'll start off with... Kacha's features weapon. So it's called Aurora Sands. Um, I bet this is not going to be an extensive, really, you know, different type of weapon. It's a assault rifle. Element is going to be frost, similar to her previous element, actually. Um, weapon skills. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I'm going to be thanking um, Snowbreak GG, courtesy of Vikyash. Okay, Vickers, thank you very much for the information that you are providing to us in the community while I break down your um, information. So, increase in frost damage, obviously. When the equipped operative casts their standard skill multiple times within a period of time, they gain shooting star. Okay, increase standard skill damage. While the shooting star is active, enemies hit have a stack of Firefly applied to them up up to a maximum each stack increase the damage taken by the op by, by the equip operative standard skill repeated applications refresh the duration of the debuff so um this is just going to be a basic debuff handed out by the gun so as you as, as your enemies gain um shooting star okay um, increasing standard skill damage so as it increases debuff increases as well and damage taken is increased so while you are while the continue while the stacks continuously you know is being applied it just resets the duration of the debuff that's very very simple for this gun simple but i hope it's going to be very effective i ho really hope the debuff is significant or um really really good enough to make her case as one of the operatives that we're going to be using okay next up is going to be katya herself donning character preview again thank you vikash uh, for this document and this is how she looks currently in her new form from a ballistic damage to she's going to be a um skill dps uh rule same element it's going to be frost assault rifle of course um here are the translations of the um chinese um infographic there standard ability crystalline feathers katja dashes in the target direction and spawns a crystalline feather dealing frost damage to nearby enemies if an enemy's hit crystal f crystal crystalline feathers is consumed this ability can then be recast to activate soaring wings effect the, the recast does not consume ability charges and spawns extra crystal or crystalline feathers when both katya and at least one crystalline feather are active on the field katya gains stacks of cloud current over time and when shooting enemies when a katya has a maximum of cloud current stacks shooting enemy will cause all crystal feathers up to a limit to fire cloud flow projectile at an enemy dealing frost damage uh, and consuming all active crystal feathers katya loses all current uh, cloud current stacks if there are no crystal feather active on the field Okay, note that Crystal Feathers is not an auxiliary unit. Um, while I was reading this, you know who comes to mind. Um, this is kind of um, similar to Cherno's ability. Um, putting in voids uh, replaced with feathers. I hope I'm... Is, is it going to be good? Is it going to be good that she's similar to that? I'm not sure if she's similar. This is just based on what I'm reading, but if I may close my eyes and see more or less the gameplay similar to Cherno, hopefully, hopefully there will be a difference in between them because the crystalline feather, um, sorry, 
the um, crystalline feather is active on the field so it's really something she plays on the field multiple times i'm not sure how many or how much the max of these feathers but again um she can fire them up and consumes all active crystal feathers again it's the same mechanic more or less with with uh, with, with cherno so comment down in the comment section if you think i'm right let's move on to the support um cloud piercer katya jumps backward and fires a volley of arrows that deals frost damage and home in enemies after traveling in a period of time okay uh, ultimate ability sonic boom fires a sonic arrow at the enemy dealing frost damage and applying freeze this i think is a you know no frails um ultimate with a lot of damage so that is it there was passive stratosphere sorter when equipped with a frost weapon increases katya's attack base on the number of crystal feathers on the field up to a max amount scaling with alignment index base number katya's base number oh so with mm -hmm. a running low i'm sorry let me just plug in okay sorry about that but again guys uh, going back so when equipped with a frost weapon increase catches base on the number of crystalline feathers so as she increases alignment index the number of crystalline feathers on the field increases so this would play big because um if her weapon is going to give her a lot of alignment index this is going to be nice um, I don't think the attack stat would play a big part in this, but um, alignment index should be maximized for her in her build. Okay, so with that said, that is her preview. What do you think of Katya, guys? Um, give me your thoughts. Share it to me in the comment section below. What do you think of her kit? Is she similar to Cherno? We'll have to wait and see tomorrow, and I'll have to play her in order to recommend to you guys i'm sure most of you are going to get her because of how she looks and it's katya guys who is not going to get katya anyway so all of us will be getting her it's just a an, an argument whether you can you know you can frequently use her because right now we have a bunch of operatives already that have similar similar play styles some of them are unique I hope her playstyle is going to be unique. I'm thinking about Cherno when I read her, you know, her skills. But hopefully I'm wrong. Or probably you guys might might say that hopefully I'm right. And her damage is bonkers. But we'll have to see tomorrow. So again, guys, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.